One of the most common problems in coordinate geometry is to be able to find the equation of a straight line given its gradient and the coordinates of one point on it. And we're going to, I'm going to show you the Wedic method, it's a one-line method, uh, for obtaining the equation. And it relies on the uh, uh, sutras specific and general and transpose and adjust. But first of all, I'm going to show the two uh, conventional methods uh, to do this. But let's suppose that you have a, a point whose coordinates are 3, 3, and that we've got a line with a gradient of 2, which will look something like this. And we want to find the equation of the line. The first conventional method uses the form y equals mx plus c. And here we have a gradient 2. We substitute in the gradient 2 here, so we get y equals 2x plus c. And then we use the transpose the two coordinates x and y here into the equation and solve for c. So we get 3 is 2 times 3, add c. And hence c equals minus 3. We then substitute this minus 3 back into the equation, giving y equals 2x minus 3. The second conventional method uses the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And here the uh, coordinates x1 is that 3 and the y1 is this 3. And we just substitute in the three numbers to the formula. So it becomes y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 3. Multiply out the brackets, it's 2x minus 6. And uh, moving this 3 over, we get y equals 2x minus 3. Alternatively, we can move the x and the y, get the x and the y terms on the same side, and the independent term by itself, and the equation would then be 2x minus y is equal to uh, 3, after all the transpositions have been done. Now, the, this formula and this process is fair enough, it works, but the only, my only criticism of it is that you have to do all this multiplying out of brackets and moving terms from one side to the other. So we'll look at the Wedic method now. It, it uses a rearrangement of this formula uh, as mx minus y is equal to mx1 minus y1. And here again we just substitute in the in the numbers uh, 2x minus y is equal to 2 times 3 minus 3. Well we can do that mentally. 2 times 3 minus 3 is 3. And that gives the answer in one line. Now this form of the equation is useful because um, it, it, it's useful for other aspects of coordinate geometry like solving simultaneous equations and it has a shape to it which is that this side of the equation is the general side and it's, a, it's a, a, a mirrored over here on the right is the specific side. Specific. And so whenever we, we have the, 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 the general side, we can put in the, the uh, numbers, mx1 and y1, to get the specific side for this particular point. And so that's uh, a one-line method for obtaining the equation of a straight line. Uh, and I certainly prefer that one.